And welcome back. We uh, left off with a rather ambitious uh, mission of putting 20, 20 uh, tourists into space. So let's go ahead and do that and see how few of them we can kill. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with our typical layout. I'm going to put three uh, drogues on this. I just don't... This ship is going to uh, somewhat tax, I think, um, some levels of reality. Uh, what we're going to do here is kind of similar to what we did before with the uh, Ca crew ca or the the cabin and the uh, what are we calling this? Yeah, the crew cabin, and then the empty fuel tank for connectivity. The difference is this time is we need to get 20. So, whoops. Um, so we're gonna make a double decker, and I'm putting the tank in the middle. Whoops, I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and copy it this way, and then we the alt key and what anyways what I'm trying to do here is we need that many there we go uh, if the reason I'm putting it in the middle is because it's central the, a central attachment point and that way that hopefully we don't need a you know 10,000 struts and you know everything else it, it's just to make life easier. And we'll see if that actually comes to any sort of fruition. We need to, again, put the heat shield down at the bottom. More for direction and weight than anything else. And... So that gets us our 20. Um, that's what we need. So, before we go any further, we need to do things that are going to make us survive, i.e. parachutes. I'm a little bit leery, honestly, of the last one. Um, we, uh, if you remember the last um, Taurus mission we had, <laughs> um, they, everybody survived, but uh, we ended up having to do a double recovery because part of the craft broke off and uh, two of the tourists were left stranded there for a little bit. I'd really rather not do that if we can avoid that. So, I'm going to look into maybe perhaps a better way of dealing with that. I was really hoping, and that's just giant, I don't know. That came from. I was hoping I could use at least another one of these instead of these, but we do what we do. All right, let's finish building this rocket. We are just trying to get into suborbital flight, so this is not, this just shouldn't be that big of a deal. So. this is bigger, um, I'm just going to use a bigger rocket. Let's just use that as the main base. And then we're going to basically use the same rocket again. But we're going to add parts to it. Uh, we basically want that about double what it currently is. I'm hoping we could do that with two. What happens if we do it this to here, move this to here. We may take four. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do four. Um, I hate kind of doing four. It seems wasteful, but I'd like that to be over two. It's overkill, probably. But 
we have to have an awful lot of thrust to get this thing to 70,000 feet, and I'm hoping that's enough. It, like I said, I'm probably over-engineering it, and before we uh, even get to the, well, we're going to get to the launch pad, and then we're going to roll it back to the vehicle assembly building, because I realize we, uh, holy crap, that is, no, that's not fair. We are not, no, I'm sorry, I am reverting, the, I already said I was going to revert this, so we're reverting to the assembly building and pretending that never happened. But, yeah, that's nonsense. Um, what I was going to do, before I was so rudely interrupted, is I was going to add... You know, put it in the comment section if you think what I'm doing right now is cheating by reverting that, but I don't think that's fair, that when it goes out to the to the uh, runway and you already say you're going to revert it, then it falls apart that uh, we can call that, like, fair in the least. Now, I will say this is probably cheating. I'm going to go ahead and put struts on it so it doesn't do that again. But to me, just the fact that that fell over at the uh, launch, site, launch pad without me doing anything seems a little bit untoward. So let me know what you think. And uh, I'm probably not going to do much about it, but it may, or at least as far as this thing is concerned, but as far as future situations when this happens during this thing, if, if you consider what I did unfair, unfair, I will face the consequences of it in the future. So hopefully that is a, a fair way of looking at this. One of these has are the drogue chutes. These are the drogue chutes. So I want those down to there. Okay. Same basic thing. This is our main stage. Uh, this is the second stage. It'll separate. These guys will come back down. I forgot to put the Taurus on the thing. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we didn't launch that because that I would have held myself to. Um, if I do something like launch a ship and don't put things on it, that's on me. That, uh, that I'll take when I take a ship to the launch pad and it falls over without any action from me. That, that's a different story. So here we go. Um, this time for sure, as Bullwinkle would say, and we're going to be here. They all look ready to go. We're going to put on the stability assist. And we're launching. Oh, wow. Um, that is unfortunate. Um, I messed up my staging a little bit. For a little bit, we're going to have a very underpowered <laughs> rocket pushing it up. But uh, that's okay. Um, not the end of the world. But a little annoying, but not the end of the world. Not ideal at all. Um, the thrust to weight on this is going to be ridiculous here for a little bit. It's, yeah, it's even going down. But that's okay. We're, it's going to go up now. We're where we need to be, I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually start tilting this. Because we have plenty of fuel. And we're already going to meet our goal. And it's really hard to turn this thing over. But the more turned over it is, the better off we're going to be. Because easier to stop. And when we've got... 20 souls on board. Um, we want to stop it. There's a lot of money riding on this, even if we don't want to go to the uh, 20 souls on board conduct. Kind of, kind of. 
Well, speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and stop this for a second because I noticed the staging is off. These are my drogue shoots at the very top. We want those separated. Now we'll go fast again. Okay, let's uh, point the heat shield in the right direction before uh, we regret not doing that. All right, we'll speed it up again. All right, we're going to slow down for obvious reasons. Went ahead and uh, put that into real time because it seems like we're going fast. We can go ahead and drug, put the drugs out. I mean, even before those things deploy, you can really see those things slowing it down. I mean, we could deploy the regular shoots right now. I'm not going to yet. I'm going to have to let the drugs go. Really slow it down. And now we'll put the regular shoots out. So, this was quite a... This was really quite a mission when you think about it, right? So, 20 of these passengers... And they're both, or they're all paying someplace in the neighborhood of twelve to uh, sixteen thousand apiece. And this entire mission cost me approximately twenty thousand. So yeah, this is quite the uh, financial boom uh, of a mission. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this. Um, there's no reason to delay watching this come down. And then on top of that, of that twenty thousand, we're going to get some of that back, and we're fairly close to the space center, so it's not even going to cost that much to get it back. So this was basically a ninety-five percent profit uh, with the cost of this mission. And there we are. Now, as this thing is floating here, I'm going to go ahead and. It won't let me do it, so that actually means it's probably pretty stable. We're going to go ahead and bring him out and see if we can... No, we cannot. Um, I need to figure it out. Still, I, I didn't do it. Uh, I think we just need to um, upgrade the science center and we can actually take surface samples from places like the ocean. So good. Again, we got a lot of funds from recovered parts back. So this mission cost us seven thousand and I mean look at how much money we made. We really made a fortune off of that. We're really close to we're we're point one away from being able to get at least something from the uh um science center here. Tracking stations the that was accidental. Tracking station is the one of the few buildings, I'm going to say the only building, it's one of the few buildings we haven't upgraded, and I'm going to go ahead and do that because we certainly have the money to do it. I'm not really too concerned about the administration building. I doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the mission control to full 2. This is going to allow us to accept more missions and... You know, as you've seen, we can do a lot of missions all at once. So, yeah, let's just do this. Yeah, I mean, why not? Okay, so we've, these three are at full. We're unable to do this one yet. That's an awful lot of cash, but... We don't need to yet, and look at our opportunities. We can do another one of these giant missions. This is something landed at Kerbin. Yeah, we're going to do that. At launch site, that's the same thing. Yeah, we're going to do that. Ferry 3 Taurus. Yeah, we're going to do that. Suborbital trajectory. What height do we need to get? Yeah, we haven't been doing that, so I'm a little worried about that. Here's 4 Taurus. So let's take a look, and one, two, three, six, ten. So 
Not quite as many as the last time. But we have that option. And then we have these two easy ones that are at the launch site. So a thud and a swivel. I'm going to save this um, just in case we need. Oh, I saved it as Untitled Craft. Let's call it 20 sub orbital. Save. All right. I suspect that's going to come up again. All right, so this is something we need for testing at the launch site. And we were testing, as I recollect, a swivel and a thud. Those are both in here. Here's our thud. And here's swivel. I had a friend in high school. His name was Thad, and his nickname was Thud. He was a fellow tuba player in high school. All right, here we go with this. And did I miss something? Did I not put an engine on that? Uh, it seems to me I put an engine on that, that besides the thud. I could have sworn I put a thud. Well, it's not there. Did I not do this? Am I crazy? I could have sworn I did that. All right. So the swivel's on that. The thud's on that. We need to test both of them. One landed, one at the launch site, so that's inherently the same, ultimately the same thing. And there we do, we did, or there we go, we did it, and we'll recover that. Didn't spend a dime. Killed two birds with one stone. Certainly made enough to buy something should we desire to do it. And we freed up two more of these. Here's another ferry of VIP. And flight over current splashdown. We've done the splashdown before. It's kind of a shame that we've only got one of those to do it with. Um, VIP of VIP, so... I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's nine, but, um, oh, it just seems like we could do so much more. Well, let's go ahead and do that one, but let's take a slight different approach. And this is the slight different approach that we're going to take. We are going to start with a probe core. And then that followed by our normal build because this just works and I see no reason to change something that just works which comes back to this the fuel tank emptying the fuel tank and we need nine so one three so that means we need six more which is that not that we already have this already pre-built Oh, let me remember how this yeah, this is how this goes, and we add those, and then we add where is it at? There's it at. All right, and we come down here, and actually, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and add the very necessary. parachutes to this contraption. There we go. We're going to add loop the drogue, wherever those are, to here. Alright, now, next step. This is, should all be looking pretty, f oops, this should all be looking pretty familiar by now. There it is. And we will move this to here. You know, it's very possible that 
Well, we'll see. I don't know how much thrust we're going to need out of that to really get what we need to do. Um, whoops. So used to that being the base unit, I grabbed the wrong one. You know, there's part of me that it seems like that should be enough. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do this. Something about the uh, stability with this, I, I just can't do without after watching the whole thing flip over before. <laughs> That was a little bit too much for me. So. Yeah, let's try. Oops. Let's not do it that way. Let's do it this way. Let's jump with the right. Oops. This is not working out for me. This way. Thank you. All right, does everything look good that way? It looks good that way. I think we've got enough. Let's give it a shot. Everything looks nice there. Make sure we actually have the Taurus on board. Did I miss one? I guess I did. this way. Okay, I did not realize that I had done that, in which case I'm going to change this around a bit. to here that way we definitely have it and I want to, I just wanted to make sure that I just totally wanted to make sure that we were doing the right right thing here I, I I'm pretty sure that this ought to be good but uh, now we'll give it a whirl uh, we have everybody on board. I'm pretty sure we do. I think I just did that. Everything looks good. We need to get these two. Okay. All right, here they go. Everything is being controlled by the probe this time, so <laughs> here's hoping. Um, I don't have any extra battery power, but I think between the command module and the probe itself, we should have enough. side. So, we're climbing. And this is the worst part of the atmosphere, so that's good. And 39... So we're getting there. Once this hits a little over 70, I'm going to start moving the, well, once it gets close to 70, actually, I'm going to start moving this thing um, over just to get the arc. And I think we're going to start moving it now because we're going to get way over 70.
So that's great. We are going to get 101. I don't know if that's great, great, but we certainly have enough. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the stability because we really don't need it right now. Pass forward to orbit. And not orbit, to space. And we'll super fast forward now till now. I'm going to aim towards the bar or make sure we're pointing in the right direction so the heat shields have effect. Go ahead and turn the stability assist back on. I think we have plenty of power. Yeah, I mean, we have more than half. So it just kind of has to hold more or less that way. We may land right on the Space Center. And once again, um, this didn't cost us very much, but we certainly have, are going to be paid a, a decent amount for this. Going pretty fast coming down, but that's okay. That drogue chute is available to come out. Or those drogue chutes, I suppose, is the right phrase. Okay, we're going to be fine. Um, we could we could deploy those other chutes now. If you look, they're white, so that means they're deployable. Um, the drogues haven't even come in full yet. That's about to happen. There we go. That's going to slow this down quite a bit, which is a much more pleasant time. Now, obviously, we spammed. <laughs> Again, they spam parachutes. That was the uh, rocket booster. And we're coming down at a very reasonable speed of 5.4 meters per second, and that may even slow itself as we get closer to the ground, as the air gets even thicker. And this is fast forwarding to the ground, so we don't have to watch, you know, 500 meters happen at 5.2 meters per second. Not that four five times that is really all that much better, but it is what we can achieve. I'm going to go ahead and put it to normal mode because we're about to touch down. And I think we lost our heat shields, but I don't care. Everybody survived. And I will take that. So, awesome. Do we have a crew report from here already? Oh, no, we can't because they're all Taurus. Never mind, recover vessel. So we just fulfilled uh, another few missions. We're back up to about the same money we started at, except we have a completely upgraded astronaut complex, a completely upgraded launch pad, and a completely upgraded mission control. So, all in all, not a bad, uh, bad few missions. We have another splashdown, or is that the same splashdown? Did we pick that? No. No, they're orbiting the sun. Love those. So, we're going to go ahead and grab that just for the principle of it. Two suborbitals. This is 170, and that's 130. So we could do those um, on the same mission. Uh -huh. Landed at Kerbin. Those are easy. Splash down. Oh, those are easy. We're going to go ahead and do that. And I normally pick those, but just because the number that I've already picked here and there's the diversity of them, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, we're going to hang on to some of these. 
Um, we're going to do the obvious easy ones at some point. But uh, the two suborbitals will be probably the next major mission that we do. So we've been playing for a little bit of time, and I don't want this to get long as these gameplay sessions often do when you're playing Kerbal Space Program. So let's go ahead and call this one the end of this episode. If you liked it, go ahead and click the like button, please, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, share this video with others that you might think well, you might you know think might find it interesting and I'd really appreciate it uh, the more more people find out about my channel the better so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time have a great day